Welcome back. Happening next Saturday, the group Rebuilding Together New Orleans will host its third annual Build and Boil fundraiser. Dozens of volunteers will start their day repairing homes damaged by Hurricane Ida. That will be followed by a crawfish boil competition. Joining us now to talk more about this event is William Stout. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for having us on this morning. So let's start with what Rebuilding Together New Orleans is for folks who may not know. Yeah, so we believe that everyone has a right to live in a safe and healthy house, and that means repairing homes, revitalizing communities, and ultimately rebuilding lives. So we use volunteers, companies, sponsors, you name it, to help make critical home repairs for our neighbors. And so especially after Hurricane Ida, we know so many people affected. You all have this really awesome and kind of lofty goal of <laughs> replacing roofs that were damaged by the storm. Yeah, so it kind of was just like a, what's the biggest way we can make an impact? And you drive around and you see blue tarps and we're gonna see them for a while. So we said, what if we do 50 roofs by July? And we're on track, to, we're at 30 roofs so far. Oh. We're hoping to crush that goal. And we've had a great sponsor at GAF to make that happen. And I do want to say, we actually were out there with you all <laughs> earlier this year for a story. And I mean, just quickly, the people you're helping, so deserving. Yeah, I mean, so you have to be low income, elderly, disabled, a veteran, or a single head of household with young children to qualify. But that still means so many people in our community qualify for services. So it's people that are the, the historic fabric of our community. Those are neighbors that can't do it themselves. And exactly, people yeah. who may not be able to otherwise. Absolutely. And that's why this fundraiser you all are having, I like the build and boil, it's a fun alliteration. Yeah. Tell me about this event, it's coming up next Saturday, right? Absolutely, so we're, we're looking for people to come out and do the eating portion of the build and boil. <laughs> we have volunteers sign up, we're gonna help five homeowners in the morning, and it transitions from that build in the morning to that boil in the afternoon. We have a block party, we close the street, two bands, and a thousand pounds of crawfish. Sounds like a good New Orleans weekend. <laughs> so tell me um, if people want to get involved, this is a fundraiser, how yeah. can they know that their money is going to a good cause and how that stuff works? So our goal for the Build and Boil specifically is to raise $40,000. We're helping those four homeowners that we've selected for the Build and Boil that morning. And then the average project is about $10,000. So a new roof, mechanical systems, a wheelchair ramp that we're going to be doing exterior painting. Uh, and they could buy tickets. So we have an all-you-can-eat wristband for $30. It includes two beers. Uh, you can't really beat that in terms of crawfish. And it's a lot of fun because a lot of teams are competing for awards. We have raffles. We have prizes. We have crawfish racing. It's a great way to get involved, and it's sponsored by Bank Plus. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you being here early this morning to tell us about it, and you saw the information there on your screen. This is taking place next Saturday from noon to 4 p.m., and it's at the address on your screen. We'll also put all that information on WDSU.com. William, thank you so much for being here I this morning. I appreciate being in. Awesome.